All right, I need to I need to put this up now. And I want to thank my subscriber for reminding me of this video that I listened to um, not too long ago. It was posted August 22nd, 2018, Coastlines Under Attack. Storm surges artificially created. It is Deborah Tavares, and it is in line with the video that I just posted a few uh, minutes ago. It's also in line with what In Truth by Grace posted this video today. Hurricane Florence, QAnon, and the military coup of the United States. So I will link below to In Truth by Grace's video. It's important, and I hope that you listen to it. Um, unfortunately, our Constitution is just, you know, now <laughs> we have not had a Constitution for a very, 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 very long time. And the military took over our National Guard. I posted videos on that on my first Kafka Winston World channel. That was back in 2012. And that's why our governors, they don't, they're not, we don't have this constitutional republic. The federal government has centralized power. And the federal government now has control over the states. Our military has been acting on its own authority for far longer than they have been announcing right before this hurricane that they would act on their own authority. This has been going on and it's been put in our face. You know, it, it, it's remarkable, but it's been going on for years and years. You know, in this video, In Truth by Grace is talking about the QAnon idiots who are, who are yay, yay, we're going to have military tribunals, sealed indictments. This is the National Defense Authorization Act, the, the provisions that everybody was so upset about, and they posted videos on, you know, those provisions that stated that our military can just pick up any American now, go to somebody's home, rip somebody out of their home, indefinitely detain them anywhere in the world and your due process rights are gone. Your family doesn't know where you are and your family won't be told where you're being held. You don't have the right to get an attorney to have a speedy trial, to even know the charges against you. That took place in 2012. Oh, but right. Uh, Obama said, oh, don't worry. I'm not going to enforce that or use it. And that was good enough for Americans. Well, the next president that gets in, is he going to use it? So all of those who are rah-rah QAnon, you're believing that you know QAnon is some insider or working for the intelligence agency, but he's fighting the deep state and he's, he's on the side of Trump who's fighting the deep state. You're now, you're now, yeah, it's like, You've done a reverse on the on the National Defense Authorization Act and the gutting of our due process rights. Jesus. So I agree with everything that In Truth by Grace is stating. But 
this has been going on. Our military has been acting on their own authority for many, many, many years. And there just doesn't seem to be any way to get through to Americans, whether they're asleep or awake. So, you know, it, it's very frustrating to just watch, you know, the complete and utter destruction of what was the freest country in the world. Yes, the American experiment. The experiment was, let's see if the ordinary citizens can actually control their government. Well, guess what? Uh, we lost... I just, I can't believe what's going on in this country. It really makes me sick to see how many Americans just don't give a shit about anything. Fine. Who cares about the Constitution? You know, those patriots who are all for now, these military tribunals, uh, you know, something is very wrong here. We really have to. You know, we are facing a time that is so unprecedented. And unprecedented times, unprecedented events require one to step back and to really think about what is going on and to try to think differently, behave differently, And, and behave differently. Um, and th th that, you know, it's almost, this, just doing the same old, same old, is getting us nowhere. I'll play just a few minutes of what Deborah Tavares has to say. And I hope that you click on the link below and that you listen carefully to what she does have to say and that you circulate this information far and wide and you really think about what it is that you can do differently you know, to try to to try to get this stopped. Of course, yeah, I agree. There's no way that we can get it stopped. The American people are not in a condition to get anything stopped because they're really not well, not well at all. Because what you are going to hear next is something that is just going to boggle your minds, as it did our research team. Uh, what we're going to be talking about is artificially engineered storm surges and artificially engineered sea level rise. And this has all been by informed consent. We've all agreed to the climate action plans. And we're going to talk about that because we know for a fact that geoengineering, a.k.a. weather weapons, is the deliberate large-scale manipulation of the Earth's climate that is creating the climate changes and the reason behind all the climate action plans and resilient plans adopted in every city, town, village, state, country, and nation throughout the world. These are climate action plans and resilient plans. For all of you that are listening, you need to type in and find out what your plan is in your area. That plan will outline the type of weather events that you are going to experience because they're creating them. So for an example, uh, I would type in Santa Rosa, California, Climate Action Plan and Resilient Plan and I would find a couple hundred page document at least that would outline 
uh, the types of, of um, weather assaults we're going to have. And uh, what we're going to be required to do about that is to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. But tonight, we're talking about something far more sinister, far more serious, that is now uh, revealing itself. And um, I'm going to go over that now. We have a military takeover, a global military takeover. And we have found documents. It's entitled Military Expert Panel Report, Sea Level Rise, and the U.S. Military's Mission. Now, this is of all branches of the military globally. So the question is, what do we do when all branches of the military, all government agencies, all departments, all officials and offices exist in a de facto status in name only. What do we do? We know that the United States federal government was dissolved by the Emergency Banking Act of March 9th of 1933, declared by President Roosevelt. We know that the receivers of the United States bankruptcy were the international bankers via the United Nations, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. We also know, when we've looked at Senate Report 93549, that we are, all of us, the people, we are the enemy. Hence the reason why we're being poisoned with every type of delivery system available in our cosmetics, in the dyes in our clothes, in the air, the water, the food, the vaccine. Our minds are being poisoned by disinformation in school. And the list is absolutely endless. The government exists today in name only. And we are in some very serious, serious danger. Okay. I hope that you click on the link below and listen to what she has to say. And I really hope that you try to think about what you can do, try to think outside the box, and I really hope that, you know, for those Trump supporters, that you reevaluate that support because there's an awful lot of information out there that makes clear that Trump is a part of this deep state. I hope all Christians reevaluate your belief that allows you to sit back and do nothing, that God is coming back to make all the wrong right again, and that this belief that this is only temporary. So you don't have to do anything. You're just waiting to die so that you can be in eternal bliss. Jesus would not be sitting back doing nothing in the face of so, so much evil and injustice happening all over the world. He wouldn't be waiting to live in eternal bliss. For those New Agers who believe you create your, real, your own reality and don't, don't talk about anything negative, please put a positive spin on all of this information. Please understand that you have the kind of thinking that is so self-centered, it allows you to just live your life comfortably. And do nothing for those who believe that whatever circumstance one finds themselves in, it's their fault. That 
nobody can create a circumstance. You did it, and you have to find out why you did it to yourself. That is so grossly twisted. It, it, it's beyond belief, especially today, when it's so in our face that we have so many people out there working to destroy us. And for those who think that they are good people, when they really don't do anything to deserve that label, because it really is true, evil does flourish when good men and women sit around doing nothing. We've got to change our thinking. We have to change our behavior. And we needed to do that decades ago, certainly years ago, but we need to do it immediately. For those who think there's nothing ha that can be done, that's the kind of psyche that has allowed all of this to manifest. All links are below.